Let's break down the true story of Scientology as written by L. Ron Hubbard. The true story of Scientology is simple, concise, and direct. It is quickly told. Can you tell the audience anything positive about the church? Yeah, so I don't know if being silent means there is nothing positive about the church or if he's just embarrassed about the church. Anything positive about the church you want to tell my audience? Is that that there's nothing positive? You're not allowed to tell them? Want to share any positive experiences about the church? Care to share any positive experiences while you're locked out? Is that that you have no positive experiences or you're unable to communicate? Care to share anything with the audience about what positive experiences you've had? Care to share with the audience any positive experiences you've had in the church? Is that to mean you had no positive experiences? Is that to mean you can't talk? And have you had any positive experiences that you care to share? No. Can you share with the audience any positive experiences you've had with the church? One, a philosopher developed a philosophy about life and death. Two, people find it interesting. Three, people find it works. Four, people pass it along to others. Five, it grows. When we examine this extremely accurate and very brief account, we see that there must be in our civilization some very disturbing elements for anything else to be believed about Scientology. These disturbing elements are the merchants of chaos. They deal in confusion and upset. Their daily bread is made by creating chaos. If chaos were to lessen, so would their incomes. The politician, the reporter, the medico, the drug manufacturer, the militarist, an arms manufacturer, the police, and the undertaker. To name the leaders of the list, fatten only upon the dangerous environment. Even individuals and family members can be merchants of chaos. It is to their interest to make the environment seem as threatening as possible, for only then can they profit. Their incomes, force, and power rise in direct ratio to the amount of threat they can inject into the surroundings of the people. With that threat, they can extort revenue, appropriations, heighten circulations, and recompense without question. These are the merchants of chaos. If they did not generate it and buy and sell it, they would, they suppose, be poor. Follow us on YouTube at Windy City Phaeton Watch.